Okay, so there's gonna be some spoilers for the Book of Hours here, but I'm hoping you figured that out before you clicked on the thumbnail that's talking about the Book of Hours and farming memories. So that one's on you. You've been warned. As you progress into the game, you'll quickly find that certain challenges are going to require far more memories than you get naturally every day. And you might get frustrated trying to find the exact memory that provides the right aspects exactly when you need them. The obvious memory sinks are when leveling up skills, you can use memories alongside single lessons, even if the upgrade requires four or five cards. And it's also important to remember that you can only hold on to one of each memory at a time. But there's one relatively easy way, <laughs> easy, <laughs> book of hours, <laughs> to ensure that you can reliably get exactly the right memories when you need them. And we're going to make it even easier for you so that you can get a whole handful of memories with exactly the right aspects that you need at almost the start of the day. Ideally, you'll have progressed through the game and have mastered a bunch of books, unlocked a few desks, and a bunch of soul cards. Pause the game and go to each desk and re-study the correct books. Once all the desks, and maybe even your concentration, are loaded with mastered book and a soul card each, you can unpause the game. And 60 in-game seconds later, pop those books out of the oven to your fresh batch of memories. You can even do this again to get more memories to prepare for the day. But the real key is that each book will only produce a specific memory. So, if you find a copy of the Orchard Transfigurations, a feast, you'll know that it will produce an intuition with its two moon and two rows. Then, study your copy of The Humors of a Gentleman and your copy of 108 to get a gossip and a confounding parable, which each have two rows. And now you'll have three cards that you can use when upgrading a skill or crafting a whatever. And you can do this as many times in a day as you have soul cards or books that produce different memories. Or you can even use those memories so they're out of your inventory and study the same books again. So as you master more books, you should keep note of what memory they make and build a stock of books that produce different memories for you to pull out later. Or, since you're still watching and I promised I'd make it even easier, I'll let you into the secret. I've been working on a spreadsheet. I've got it going already with all the books that I've found and mastered and what memory they produce. I didn't ever think that I'd be this excited to make a spreadsheet for a game, but the Book of Hours is just that type of game. Where you make spreadsheets and have your own journal and sort all of the items into... Anyway, it's just that type of game. The link to the spreadsheet is in the description below. I have over 50 books sorted already with the book name, the book binding, the book cover, and the memory that it produces and the aspects of that memory. So you can sort and figure out exactly what you need when you need it. And if you find any books that I haven't cataloged yet, please drop what memory it produces in the comments below so that I can add it to the list for everyone to enjoy. And while you're down in the comments, please like and subscribe so I can keep helping the community out.